everyone. Welcome to MNC Gamers, it's Caroline here. I'm going to start playing Life is Strange again. I don't know how long we've got this episode, but hopefully it won't be too long. Before we start, I just want to make sure that everything is okay and you can hear me. Two seconds. Let me just check. Two seconds? Yeah, you can hear me, that's good. It's all good. Uh, I think I went live there a wee second ago by accident. So I'll need to delete that previous one. Don't know what happened. Okay. We're live and we're ready and it's Friday. How exciting. I'm so glad it's Friday. It's been such a long week. Thank you everyone that's joining. Okay, so episode 3, Hell is Empty. Now, we started playing this in the last episode, so I don't think we'll get a recap. But basically we found out that Rachel's mum that she's living with isn't actually her mum. Her mum is another person that basically left her life, um, her and her dad's life when she was young. I think that she was addicted to drugs just wasn't in a good way but now all of a sudden she's clean and she wants to get back in touch with Rachel and I think Rachel wants to go and meet her I think just now from what I can see in the story and what I can remember we're going to meet Frank at the junkyard to see if he can help us um, get to Rachel's mum because Rachel's mum was seen coming out of Frank's RV I think that's right Oh yeah, this is right. Um, she's trying to fix up the truck so that they can leave. Work with me here. Better, but still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Okay, we've got another diary entry. Entry? It's because I was looking at Chloe Conjurer. Uh, did we read this page? Yes, we did. Max, I think I want a tattoo. Yeah, I know, it's permanent, right? But that's the thing though, it's not, not really, because we're not permanent at all. Funny how much simpler life seals, seems when you keep that in mind, like my hair. I wanted to see what it would look like blue, so I did. It looks awesome. One day I'll make it all blue, and if I don't like it then, so what? It'll all fall out eventually. See how that works. Do you know, that really hits home with me. I've always wanted my hair blue, and I mean like build my blue, like Dragon Ball Z. I've always wanted my hair so so blue like that. Just because I've got blue eyes and I just I've always loved that colour on hair. I just think it's so so nice. But I've always been afraid to do it because you I know this is really bad, but you worry about what people think and how they're gonna make you look how they're gonna judge you and stuff like that. Just and it's so stupid because it's just a hair colour and I shouldn't worry because I'm old enough and wiser enough to know better. Um so I think I will do it one day. Watch this space. I don't know when it will be and when I'll be brave enough to do it. Previously, I did get my hair. My hair used to be a lot longer than this. It's only just down to my shoulders just now. It's taking ages to grow. Um, but it used to be really, really long. And I, I got it black, all black, and then down at the bottoms, it was like blue. And it was like a kind of deep blue. It wasn't really vibrant, but it was absolutely beautiful. And obviously, because of the blue colour, when I was washing it, it was kind of washing out a little bit and it was going to get a bit green and it just ended up not really nice. It was nice for a good few weeks and then it just kind of washed out. You need to, It's something that you need to maintain, especially if you've got really dark hair like me. This is my natural hair colour. Um, but who knows, maybe one day I'll get it done. I would definitely like to get it done blue. I just don't know when. Sometime in the future. Uh, I'm sorry I can't see the top of that diary page there. Uh, I think she's saying, you know what else? 
He actually tried to be nice to me in the most awkward way imaginable. Then he tried to connect with me about his dead friend, which fine, A for effort I guess. Eventually I got out of there and headed to the garage which David is transforming into his own personal asshole cave. At least I got what I came for, Dad's toolbox. I bet he would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix the ride. Off to the junkyard to see if I can get that truck working. I know it's far from permanent, but here's hoping that beast has a little more life in it. Chloe, the impermanent marker. It looks as though we've got all the characters anyway. So we must be almost close to completing this. David. Chloe, this is David. Did my mum give you my number? Yes, yeah, she did. I noticed she took your father's toolbox and you weren't on a project. Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. I hope they're not going to expect me to know what I'm doing here. Pliers. Take the screwdriver as well. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. That should help keep shit distributed. Good. Well, uh oh. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay OR 7.45 AM PST, Sunday, May the 9th, 2010. Combination State Park fire remains active, moderate to heavy smoke expected limit outdoor activity. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Won't do anything. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Nothing doing. Where's the pliers? Well, they're back in there. I thought I still had them. This thing is going to the Fuck up. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Okay. So, I think we need the pliers. And we need it for there. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Good, good. Go back from whence you came. Not helping. Okay, so I think we need the wrench for there. Maybe. <gasps> oh. Sick. That's disgusting. Disgusting. Wrench! 
Let's see if that helps. Much better. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. a bit bigger. Nice and comfy. Please. I need you. Yes, Chloe. No fuel in it. Don't crash it. Good job, Chloe. I would never have been able to do that. Martin probably would have, he's quite good with cars, but no, not me. Hey, junkyard queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit. Your hair, it's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. You're practically a certified mechanic now. <laughs> Even have the shirt to prove it. It's funny that she's got a blue feather in her ear Should and Chloe's gets blue it out? just at that side of her hair. You know what I mean? Very similar. Oh god, there's Frank. Hey Price. Nice wheels. You're oh, early. A wee moment there. Yeah. Wee moment. And what's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Oh. It's right here. Obviously, I was going to give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. Yes, we did, but we're in the room. You try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Oof. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them. Suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Fuck! 
Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? Hmm. She's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> no, this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? Tell us which yes? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. We were aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Just tell us where the woman is. Here's what happens next. Come on. Oh my man. god. They're just kids. No, they're not. I don't think there's this any need for that. Is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. Oh my god, she's going to throw her. Oh my god. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Holy shit. 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 Oh no. Oh my god! Oh my god, I've got goosebumps. I don't think you can see it in the camera. But I've got goosebumps. I seen the clip for this episode and it's, it showed you like, Chloe like pure panicking in the car but I had no idea what it was for. So knowing that I, because I played part one, Life is Strange season one, I know what happens obviously but I didn't expect this. Oh, 
I love that song. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. I, I even saw your file saying Sarah was connected to Damon Merrick. I know exactly who <clears throat> Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. We didn't, we didn't get a chance. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yes. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us. So he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? It was... it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Uh... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know what she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss 
Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Oh, that must be Judge Dad. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. Well, she gave all the money to Frank. <laughs> oh, man. Jackpot. Oh, she couldn't slam. These all firefighters. Attention, Arcadia Bay Hospital staff. Due to the increased volume of patients suffering from heat exhaustion and or smoke inhalation, we've made several additional recovery rooms available. Please process all new patients into Wing B. Consult. Oh, sorry, into Wing B. Consult your shift leader for a refresher and recovery protocol. Call the kids drones. Collins. Pamphlets. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. One more hour of waiting and I would have read that. I know oh. those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? If you're this useless now, what are you gonna do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs- There's a sign for the prenatal class. Great. I guess that's your contribution for today. That was a couple that were stole the wine those from. people suck. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Attention Arcadia Bay Hospital staff, there has been a recent increase in anaesthesia complications from recreational drug use. Please make it clear to patients, especially those in their teens, that if they've taken any drugs they need to disclose them to you for their own safety. Be persistent when taking down patient histories. Thank you. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? Administrator Hofstader, one of your current patients is Andrew North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured in school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally, and I stress anonymously, cover his medical expenses. If I may be of assistance in speeding the process, do not hesitate to contact me. Oh well. Really didn't there? No. Confidential. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. 
ist das? Is this Drew's room? Looks like it. Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Went out. Those guys look exhausted. No. It's completely out. It extinguished it. Oh, Rose. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Why has my son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen, but I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy but shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing from you. He put down a couple If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. That is What's all. there to do around here? Sir, I believe your son is manifesting serious and alarming symptoms. Allow me... Chance to Nathan's already getting more than enough attention from one of you. I am fed up with the made up problem. Oh, God. What's that say? You still around? We're in room 785 in case you forgot. Cool. I can't go in there, can I not? I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Everything about this fire is Unless you get stabbed. No kidding. Are you sure you heard right? Wildfire. All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. You know, Drew's hurt, of course. But, uh, I'm between jobs, so got plenty of time to visit, you know? Yeah. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. No. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah. Uh, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. 
I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. It's a busy man. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh... I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's... it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> just... Uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just got to do something new. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Ooh, I want to eat that right now. Ask him if he's gonna eat it, and if he's not, eat it. Damn, Drew looks really low. Those must be from Steph's parents. Oh, that's nice. An 8 out of 10. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Drew, I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injuries. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realise now that in many ways I failed to do that. I want you to know that the students and faculty are rooting for your speedy recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I've made sure that your coaches are ready to accommodate any recovery needs you may have. As for the matter that you were injured on Blackwell grounds, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I've begun to look for new security personnel. If there is anything I can do to make you feel, make you feel more safe upon your return, please do not hesitate to let me know. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. That's a note. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Hey Drew, sorry to hear about your leg. We're really going to miss your talent and leadership out in the field for the, the duration of your recovery. Rest up, let me know if you need anything, Coach McKenna. The sensitivity on this PS5 pad is unreal. It's nice that Mikey and Steph seem to be staying here all day. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Hmm. I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Heard you lost your balls. Congrats on your visit to me. Yep. 
And then you can play without fear. Concussions. Oh. Can we say his leg? Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh, oh, right, right. I'll um, I'll leave you alone. God, I hope he's not angry at us. That'll be an interesting read. AP Bio Homework, are you still taking the exam on Monday? Multiple choice, all odd numbered questions on page 237. Free response, questions 1367 on page 259. If you're feeling up to it and working on a piece about certain recreational activities around Blackwell, maybe you could answer some questions for me too. Feel better, Juliet. All right, I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waiting up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks. Max, you ever notice how people in hospitals are always whispering? I think it's because of oh, er, sorry. Say it again, Caroline. I think it's because hearing our own voices makes everything feel much more real somehow, like writing it down. Weird how only a few hours ago I was the only I was the one bringing something broken back to life. I snagged one of David's car manuals and fixed up the truck. I took it for a joyride around the junkyard before Rachel showed up. We chatted for a bit, then shit got crazy. I'm going to need with the camera. Two seconds, guys. That's us now. And by crazy I mean Damon Merrick, the psychopath who's super interested in Rachel's bio mum and dad for some reason. He and Frank arrived demanding to know what we were doing. Before we can find out why, he pulled out a knife and stabbed Rachel. I might have been able to stop him if I acted quicker, but I just froze. If it weren't for Frank. A blazing car ride later and I'm here at the hospital wishing I could make myself believe this isn't really real. Chloe the much too real. P.S. I hope Frank's okay. Keep the camera down here for now guys, hopefully that'll be okay. Because every time I'm opening up the diary it's... I can't see the writing. I'll probably need to move it again. Dad... I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will be... Ah, oh, thirsty. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. 
What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number, maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe, for everything. Well, at least she's going to get better. Well, that's good news. Uh, uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. It, you never told me you were into cars. Guess you don't know everything about me. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of... happened. Uh, no. 
Not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah, it was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? I mean, I'm probably not okay, but I can deal with that later. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Yes, I'm. So what? Exactly. So, obviously, something is going on. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Oh. Hey, I, uh, I almost forgot. Did you, like, write on my whiteboard? Oh, go ahead, did it. <laughs> I totally did, didn't I? I don't yeah. think it was nice. I was, uh, pretty sure that was your handwriting. What did I write? Oh, go ahead, you... Oh god! Call it was me bad. a creeper. Oh. I was probably messing with you. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah. Creepers aren't, uh. No, that stuff's not cool. Anyway. See you around. Yeah. Oh, good guy. Chloe. Poor guy. Shouldn't have done it, but did it. Can't do anything about it now. We move. That's what the saying is now, isn't it? We move. I just had a follower. I need to pause this right now because I don't know if you're watching, but Erica Stephanie, if that's how you say it. Oh, sorry. Is it Erica? Erica Y. Stephanie. I'm not too sure, but if you're watching the channel just now, thank you so much for following us. A fly has just went by me there, so you probably see me doing that. Thank you so much for following the channel. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. I wasn't sure if you were there, I just seen it there, it came up on the feed that you'd followed, so thank you so much for that. Hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that There's a fly in here. Find her. I can see it, it's on my PlayStation 5. 
It's looking at me. Oh! Oh! I don't know where it's went. I'm a nightmare. I hate anything flying around me. And I feel so sorry for Martin because... Oh, the game is amazing. The game is absolutely amazing. I don't know if I've got long to go. Uh, I'm on episode three. I don't know if I've got long to go. James has a file on Frank. How are you keeping? Are you having a good day? This, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. What happened there? Oh, there's something in there. Sweet. Another key. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Mikey. Hey Chloe, thanks again for visiting. Drew says good luck out there. Thanks, good luck to him too. Chloe? Yeah? You're stronger than anything. Hope so. Guys, my door's going at the moment. I'll just be back in two seconds. Sorry about this. Back in a moment.
I'm so sorry there guys my door went and it took a bit longer than I was thinking I'm sorry about that oh knackered uh, Erica if you're still there I'm so sorry if you were sitting waiting on me coming back I'm back now okay so we're trying to find some information on Sarah locked drawer inside locked office Seems promising. Hi. I just wanted to check Erica if, um, if my my mic was on correct, but you can hear me. Sorry about that. How about you anyway? Have you had a good day? If it can rain ash, I I guess it could snow in LA. They love the snow globes in this game. I remember it in the first game. 
<laughs> it's the big one. I'd love to go early. I would love it. Arcadia Base. Good. Wanted. I'm glad it's the weekend. Have you been playing anything at the moment? Oh, this is an assault incident report. Damon Merrick, 31. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. After a verbal altercation with the victim, Merrick brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. A 911 call was received at 10.21pm and an officer arrived on scene at 10.38pm with EMT. The victim was taken to hospital. A bystander who requested to remain anonymous named Damon Merrick as the assailant. Surely that's got to be Frank. No? What do we have here? Oof. I should check the computer or some of those files laying around. That's a lot of evidence. Oh, so this is a key. Welcome to Shadyville. That looks like a phone. Sarah sent all these letters. And James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. To my Rachel, my name is Sarah and I'm your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving you up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time, something I've been battling with ever since. That battle has taken everything from me, most importantly you. But now I'm in a place where I know I can be a part of your life. It's more than I deserve, I know, but I would love to try if you want to. Please take your time and if you have anything to say or any questions, hearing from you would mean the world. I love you very much and I hope to meet you soon. Love, Sarah. Dearest Rachel, I hope it's alright for me to write you again. I haven't heard from you yet and that's okay, it really is. I just, I feel like I have so much to catch up on, you know. I don't remember much of my life. It's a symptom of the choices I've made. So much is lost. Except you. I remember everything about you. The crinkle of your nose, the depths of your eyes, the knowing smile that somehow made it seem like you'd seen it all before. I can call it up whenever I want, as clear as a summer day. I was so afraid, afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you, that I would screw you up the way I screwed up so much of my life. Now I know, of course, that my fear was wrong. Far worse than being a bad mother is never knowing what kind of mother I would have been. I am sorry. If you can find the courage to forgive me, maybe we can start over. I want to, with all of my might. I want to. Love, Sarah. Beautiful Rachel, I read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that you can never stop step in the same river twice. Because after it moves, it's not really the same river anymore. It's something new. Do you think that's true? I tried to picture you reading these letters. I wonder what your reactions are, how I might seem to you. This mystery mother, I don't blame you for not writing back. You will write when you're ready. I imagine your dad is still wary of all this. That's okay. James is protective of you, just as I would be. But the life he wanted to give you... Oh no, I've missed a line here. But he's also a kind and compassionate person. That was the problem, really. I wasn't cut out for him, or the life he wanted to give you. I knew it then, even when he didn't. I know we can never have the same relationship we should have had, but I hope we can have something new together. I hope it so much. Oh my love, Sarah. The Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. Oh God, I hope there's something he's not hiding here. James, I understand your reluctance to let me speak with Rachel, but don't you think the decision should belong to her? Everything I have done over the past year has been to prove to you that I'm ready to be in Rachel's life. I've gone through rehab, I'm in recovery, and I'm no longer in need of money or assistance. I know I can be a positive influence for her. I'm coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can at least meet to discuss this, so you can see how much I've changed. 
If you have any feelings left for me at all, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you, and hopefully to Rachel too. You were the love of my life once. Please don't take this away from me, Sarah. Costerman and Shapiro, family law, cease and desist. Dear Mr Amber, I represent Sarah Gerhardt, lawful mother of Rachel Amber and petitioner for partial custody of Rachel Amber, her lawful daughter. Please take notice that Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful petitions by parents to re-establish contact with their children. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand that you cease and desist from unlawfully denying contact between Sarah Gerhardt and Rachel Amber. You are now considered to be on notice that continuing refusal will result in a petition for suit filed under Oregon Family Law Statute 42.4b Tillamook County Family Services. This letter constitutes your final notice in this matter. Sincerely, Kevin G. Shapiro. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks at James Center. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Was there anything so, else, sir? This, so, no. this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks at James Center. Guess he... There's something not right here. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Maybe it is Sarah. Oh god. I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm going to need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. Don't hurt her. Relax, I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. <gasps> Nothing. Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. Oh my god! Oh my god. So from what I'm taking from this then, he's basically paying Damon to do something to Sarah. He's saying don't hurt her. But it's obviously something to do with that. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? say oh no hope James actually has this evidence don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is unless I sent shit If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Oh, no problem, Erica. Maybe I can... Yeah, iPhone's a nightmare. 
I've got the Huawei mobile phone. They're really good. I think it's pronounced Huawei. It's like H-U-A-W-E-I or something like that. So don't worry about it. If you need to go, that's absolutely fine if, if your battery's dying. Thank you so much for popping on, Nolan. I really appreciate your follow. I'll probably be nipping off soon anyway. I've got to go and get some dinner. Martin will be coming home soon from work. I love how she just graffitis everything. Drunk drawer. Trophy. <laughs> Secret booth stashed. More sherry. Hmm. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother. Oh, no problem, Erica. Thank you so like much. A pretty terrible way to act. James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood you need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent, but sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me. Oh, don't apologise. It's absolutely fine. Thank you so much. Uh, you're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of a way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But more importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is, to know the truth. Do what you know is right. Oh God, this is quite difficult, isn't it? Because now James is getting turned out to be the villain here. Just shows you there's always two sides to every story. I hope you're doing the right thing here by burning this. The fire alarm there. Hopefully, he takes that as enough evidence. You've taken care of it, good. So, since you're destroying evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was a snitch. James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. Mom, planning supper, what time do you think you'll be home? Don't wait for me. Sweetheart, we don't get enough family time as it is. Does Rachel want to join us? She's very welcome to. Mom, I just can't make it tonight, sorry. Chloe, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, love you. Love you too. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. I'll just be back in one moment, guys. Sorry about this. BRB. I don't even have a BRB screen, but you can enjoy Grogu in the back. And he's it. Enjoy him for just one moment.
One of Damon's guys has been snitching. Looks like Mr. Amber has some people on his crime board. Mr. D.A. must have files on the snitch somewhere. And I'm back. I'll only be on for five minutes more, guys. Sorry, and then I'll need to come off to get my dindins. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Oh no! Okay. If I'm going to accuse one, I thought of it was going to ask me to accuse Frank there. Better be sure I'm right. Oh God. This explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? No. He's in jail. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Well, I think it's him. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. I think it's him. Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Feels a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. Where would the money be? It's not going to be in there. 
Vi har røget i dag her. Oh. Uh. Sawdust. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, that's to find out who said us and where she is. Should have let her light Rachel, didn't she? Fuck, that's Oh my her. god. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Oh no. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Yeah. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Uh oh. Hey. Elliot. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did you really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe... What is... Ah. Uh-oh. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... You don't know what you're He's talking jealous. about. First night you hang out. What happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... Stop suggesting that she's somehow... Bad the for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look, I, I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but this isn't about that. It sounds like Seriously. that's what it's about. You need to shut the fuck up before I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress, and I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real, and I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. 
hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot. Please. Yeah, I'm coming, babe. I know you're upset. But... Uh, I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to need to end the stream right there. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I know that it's in the middle of a scene, but I'll need to stop it there, I'm afraid. But I will be probably on later. Um, I will let you guys know if I'm on. If not, Martin will come on. Erica, thank you so much for coming on to the stream and following the channel. Martin and I really, really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye, guys.